Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is for the November Fright Crate, and the quote on it immediately, the first monster you have to scare the audience with is yourself by Wes Craven. So this is the, uh, someone had actually asked the question on one of my videos for the Fright Crate unboxing, which I believe was actually the last one, said, are you doing the 20 or the $30 box? I'm doing the $30 box, always the $30 box, because I want the best of the stuff that they have available. Now, um, this one, the November one, is actually kind of their December. It's like all their december -y franchises, which is smart because a lot of the times with these subscription boxes, what they would do is they'd be like, okay, this is the December box that you'll get in January, but we're going to have all the December-themed stuff. Uh, but no, Fright Crate did the smart thing, and they were like, look, this is the November one, but we're going to give you all the Christmassy themed stuff with November because we know you actually get the box before Christmas so it makes sense so good on you Fred Crate for being smart all right here we go now the first item is the t-shirt I always love these t-shirts oh man this is really nice oh it's cute too actually I think my wife's gonna like this because she thinks that gizmo is cute look at that uh one of my favorite Christmas movies yeah gremlins yes it's a Christmas movie that looks really good. It's really cute. I uh, got cute gizmo up front, and then you got all these little, uh, all these gremlins in the back. And I like the color scheme, too. It's pretty cool and unique. I like that shirt. That's a really cool shirt. That's a really nice shirt. I, lo I, I like it a lot. Ooh. I feel like, okay. This is something big. I'm going to do that last, because I like to do those things last. So, let me get down here. All right, so the pin... <laughs> It was funny. Uh, I actually just saw this movie this weekend. Uh, it was because of Joe Bob. It was the first time I've seen it, though. Uh, Joe Bob's Red Christmas on Shudder. Um, Jack Frost. Do you want to build a snowman? And it's Jack Frost from the movie Jack Frost holding Olaf's head from <laughs> Frozen. Uh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> I like that. I like the humor behind it. It's not just a straight-up piece. It's It's got some good humor to it. I like that. All right, then there's, feels like, oh, okay. So this is, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I remember Rocky Horror Picture Show is going to be in here, so it looks like it's like a necklace that's like the, the Rocky Horror Picture Show lips, you know, Tim Curry's lips. I don't wear things like this. Actually, I can't even get it around my head without undoing it, so. Just imagine what it looked like like that. I probably won't wear it. There was a time in my life when I was a very young kid where I wore, like, rings. Not, you know, wedding ring, but I wore rings and I wore, like, necklaces and stuff. And, you know, it was a different time. Those were the 90s. And, you know, that's what I did. Okay, so then, okay, then it's just the card because we got a big thing. And uh, I'm pretty excited about this because I know... I don't know specifically what the property is, but I was told it is a snow globe. So let's see what snow globe it's going to be. I'm sure it's done by Serial Resin Co. Because that's what's up. Ooh. Interesting. Um, this is going to be a mess to get out of here. I can already tell. Because it's packed a little oddly. Let me see if I can do this over on the side. There we go. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, this snow globe's cool. Look at this. Jaws. Bruce the shark. That's that's really cool. Um, That's really cool. I mean, it looks good, as I assumed would be the case for Cereal Resin Co. Like, look at the... Look at... It looks like a nicely done shark. He's got... The globe's in his mouth. It says Jaws right there. And check it out. It's a snow globe with the boat in there. Now, it's cool to display it like this, but to be honest, if you could figure out a way to wall mount that, I kind of think it's cooler that way, if you could wall mount it so you could see the shark like this. And I like that. That's... So I don't really have... I have like a really crappy gremlin snow globe. So this is my first like nice snow globe. I don't I don't like have snow globes other than that small crappy one that I gotten from like a 
ner a horror block, like a nerd block horror thing. So this is, that's pretty nice. And then there was something, there's this, something that's in here. Oh my gosh. And another snow globe. I was like, there's something else in there. Oh my gosh, a Rocky Horror Picture Show snow globe. That's cool, man. Wow. So a mini snow globe and a regular size snow globe. Obviously, it's um, Tim Curry's legs. Frankenfurter. Is that it? I still haven't watched it yet. I'm sorry. I apologize. My bad, people. My bad. It's, it's going to happen. 2020, that's one of my resolutions. 2020, I'm watching it. Okay, so let's talk about what's in here. Okay, so first of all, love the shirt. Love the snow globes. Love the pin. That's fun. Um, eh, on the um, necklace, but that's just because I don't really do anything with necklaces. I mean, it looks good. And as you can see, it's like, it's kind of like rubber. So, you know, if you have it on, it's not going to like feel cold or hurt or anything like that. It's nice and pliable. I mean, the design of it looks good. It's just not my, it's not for me. So, uh, the exclusive six inch jaw snow globe. This massive shark deserves a massive snow globe. Approximately six inches. Great piece by Sir Resinko. Keep it out of water. Exclusive. The Everything's exclusive except the necklace. Uh, a Gremlins Christmas shirt. Artwork via our friend AFV2. Amazing piece from a great digital artist. Do not wash after midnight. I like that. Uh, Rocky Horror Mini Snow Globe. Enjoy the second offering by Serial Resin Co. Two inch snow globe. I see you shiver in anticipation. Patient. I'll let that go too long, but you know, that's what it's all about. Uh, Evil Jack enamel pin, uh, two inch soft enamel pin. Do you want to build a snowman? R.I.P. Olaf. And Rocky Horror Picture Show necklace, soft PVC necklace inspired from the movie. Okay, so I am going to give you what the franchises are going to be for the December box, which we will get in January. But before I do that, if people want to sign off, I'm just going to say real quick, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe real quick. Um, it literally takes you like a second. It can mean a lot for my channel, and I appreciate it. That's what keeps me doing these things. Well, this box keeps me doing this in particular. But like my horror movie reviews, go check those out because I think I do a pretty good job. It's not just a review. It's also kind of analysis, like themes. I really like to dive into themes and metaphors within the film, so please check that out. You can put some comments down there about this box, other things. You can do the like, but the big thing is to subscribe. Appreciate that the most. So that said, if you don't want to know what's coming for the next box, or it won't say specifically what it is, but what the franchises are, then go ahead and sign off right now. Um, so for those of you who want to know, whew, December, which we'll get in January, Creep Show, Evil Dead, The Thing, Dolls, and a mystery theme. And I believe I've been told that there's going to be a really awesome autograph in it as well. So with all those named, I would hope the awesome autograph is like, I don't know, Keith David from The Thing or something. Because I'm thinking like realistically speaking. Like I know most people would be like, oh, if it's an awesome autograph, obviously Bruce Campbell from Evil Dead. I'm like that's that's too much. There, there, there's no way. Or like, um, you know, some people might be like, oh, you know, Kurt Russell from The Thing. No got to keep it realistic potentially keith david that would be a pretty pretty nice one but we'll see anyway uh very nice box as usual i really like what fright crate's doing i really like what serial resin co is doing um everyone they ended up being affiliated with they work with some great artists so show them some love their um their boxes the 20 dollar and the 30 dollar are available the first of every month for that month they do sell out in my um, in my experience, they do sell out within like a two days ish, I think. But sometimes if, if they have certain franchises that are like super hot franchises or they're really pushing that box saying things like, you know, there's going to be a super awesome autograph in it, they can sell out faster. I've seen them go in like a day before. So the rule is if you want to get in on Fright Crate, whether it's the $20 or the $30, and I would just re I would just recommend if you have those extra ten dollars, just go for the thirty dollar. But I'd say buy it as early as possible, like as soon as you get up on the first of every month. Honestly, I put reminders on my phone in my calendar so that every every first of the month it's popping up and saying, "Don't forget to buy your fright crate." So you can do the same thing. 
But thank you everyone for checking this out. Real quick again, please hit that subscribe. Please. And until next time, keep it brutal.